Here I am with John Scrivano, physician's assistant extraordinaire, coming to us from Oceanside. We're going to talk a little bit about muscle mass. You are an expert in obesity. Yes or no, Dr. John? I want to call you. <laughs> Sorry. Yes or no, John Scrivano? I would say, you know what, Whitney, I would say in all humility that I don't know that anyone is really an expert or can be all things to all people. But out of all the folks I know, I do have a lot of experience. Absolutely. And so tell me a little bit about your experience using uh, the formulation of meal replacements and coaching that you have been applying with uh, habits of health and helping people make good decisions so that they can keep their weight off and the evolution of what you've seen in the people who are now utilizing the new, is it, how do you describe the uh, new weight loss drugs that are available? Yeah, the new incretin hormones. Incretin hormones, thank you. Right. So what I, what I would say is, I mean, my experience has been uh, some 18 some odd years, 18 to 20 years, uh, trying to integrate an approach to weight management that encapsulates and incorporates all of what science has to offer at wherever we are at that time, right? So from the very beginning, it was evident that using a meal replacement, which has been well studied, right, uh, is and can be a very effective tool for immediate weight reduction. And in the long term, uh, it can be something that can be utilized as part of a daily routine, right? When we're talking about nutrition supplementation, right? So, uh, but in any event, 18 some odd years uh, where I've worked with different specialists, including bariatrics, including nutritionists, uh, athletic trainers, people that have all bring expertise to an equation in order to help people not only lose weight, but more importantly, maintain it, right? Maintain that weight loss. That's the critical component. And the critical component behind that is muscle mass, yes or no? Is maintaining structural integrity, muscle mass, of course, but, ma but maintaining a nutritional support, right? Because many of these initiatives are really designed to help people lose weight. Medications, surgeries, meal replacements, that's what they're designed to do. But the real initiative is how are we going to help people not only maintain health and wellness, but sustain that weight loss over time. And what have you seen as far as using all of these different uh, tools and resources? Right. What's, your, what's your overview? Well, my, exper my experience has been that no matter what intervention you use, with the exception of really exceptional nutrition, right, and lifestyle change, everything falls short. And the reason that it does is that it really is just designed to do specific things. When you talk about muscle wasting, it's just an inherent part of weight reduction, weight loss. We're trying to minimize that. And many products out there, the nutraceuticals, they can help prevent some of that. But exercise is also a critical part of sustaining structural integrity during weight reduction. Well, and during aging, I am 53 years old and I've got to start lifting weights. I can see Absolutely. things that I've never seen before. So muscle mass at any age is right. vital. But the question I have for you, because we do see a lot of people with the flappy arms that are doing yep. some of the weight loss drugs, right. what's, is there a number to help anybody out there who's really looking to maintain their muscle, to look good while they're losing weight and to feel healthy and maintain the weight loss? You know, there's no product that can do that, quite frankly. It, again, it's the integrated approach. Uh, that no, I'm looking for the number of the protein amount that oh. they need to have and consume so yeah, that they I mean, know what, you can track that easy. Right, right. No, absolutely. So it's 1.5 grams typically, uh, you know, per kilo. That's what we're after. So usually for the average individual, you're looking at, you know, 55 to 70 grams of protein daily, female, male, activity matters, right? In terms of how much is required, essential amino acids, a good nutritional uh, uh, protein uh, support is what's necessary, right? Uh, so yeah, no, I mean, that, that's a critical part of it. And that's, right. one, of the, that's the one of the main focuses when we talk about 
how to get folks to reduce their weight initially without deteriorating. Right. And to maintain it. Essential Amino Acids is a product that the company that I partner with right. uh, for over 22 years just released. And 50, there was a 55 program and a 70 program for years. Yep. So uh, although I will say that most women actually need more protein now because they're dealing with the babies and work. So I would venture to guess that a woman could benefit from 70 grams of protein, but it, based on activity level, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. so it's based on, right. So structural integrity to begin with, uh, right, in terms of uh, overall muscle mass, you know, uh, the size of the individual. That's why it has to be individualized, right? But there's also underlying um, medical conditions that require us to be vigilant when it comes to maybe, you know, providing too much protein for individuals, right? So that's where the nuance is, and that's where the science kind of comes in. But yes. And that's having somebody help you while you're along your journey to check in, to look at what you're doing, to, to review it with you. I think it's vital. I mean, I love having a coach. I love being a coach. Having medical intervention when necessary is necessary. So I think right. the combination, like you said, having a lot of team on my health team is really vital. Great job. Perfect. And thank you so much. We're going to do another video. And I just want to ask you a little bit about which uh, bariatric surgery? Is it going right. to become obsolete? But let's come back. We're going to do another video. If anybody wants to see that video, just click below. Thank you, John Scrivano, on your expertise in everything weight loss. You're welcome, Wendy.